I don't know how it's not good. I didn't feel that great. Um, yeah, I didn't feel good. Um, no, what were you expecting for time coming in or what? I thought I'd run a super smooth 220, get it on time. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you never know. Hopefully these guys go slow. But uh, I'm just so happy to be here at Ocean Breeze. Um, I don't know if this is you or your brother asked me like why I was running indoors. And it's me. You know, yeah. Yeah, it's you know it's so awesome that the the nationals is here. You know, my my dad grew up here, he's run these uh, he's run around Staten Island about a hundred times. Oh, your dad from Staten Island? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, my parents met at Wagner College. And uh, I was born here. I told him to move away when I was three months old. And it's a good thing my dad listens. Uh, my dad, he, he commutes to Staten Island every day. He's the assistant principal at uh, Staten Island Tech. Uh, coached at Curtis High School for 12, 15 years. Jeff, how, how long did my dad coach at Curtis? Dad? That's like six years, right? Oh, six years, okay. Six years, yeah, six years. The fish gets bigger, but That's right. yeah. And he coached with me for six or six. That's right, five or yeah. six. Yeah. So yeah, we got we got big Staten Island roots here, um, and it's just awesome to be here. So if you guys tell them to slow down, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks. But guys. I mean, for you as a whole, like come back from the Lyme disease, like I don't know. It seems like you still have really high expectations. Whereas me looking at it from afar, I'm like, oh, you're doing all right. Like, uh, well, you I mean, seem to be making progress. I would say. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I mean, I ran 221 earlier in the year, and that felt way better than today. All right. I don't know what it was. But, um, but yeah, you know, overall I'm happy with how I'm coming back. Uh, it wasn't an easy summer or fall, but you know, we can't all be down from Brazier, train for a month and run 144. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm trying hard, and you know, racing's way better than not racing, even if it's 2:22, be my high school time. So, not trying to brag, but you know. So it's a. Uh, what you ran faster in high school than you did today? No, no, I ran faster today. Oh. In high school. Thank God. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. Like Milrose. I don't know how was that for you. Oh, uh, that was uh, that was a disaster. <laughs> I think I needed a uh, one more race before that. All right. I got banged around a good bit in the beginning. Uh, it was just not a great mental day for me. I came back the week last week and ran 402 and 227. Felt like way better. Oh. You did that win last week? Yeah. What was that? I was right here. It was oh. like fast track. Last chance. So, yeah. Uh, I just think I need a little more, a few more races under my belt. A little more training. But I know it's great getting to race Clayton, you know. He's looking awesome. And my sister's running the 600 in a little bit. Really? Yeah, she got in. So, so. Super How good is she? Her. How good is she? Yeah. She's way better than I am. She should be in the men's thousand, if you ask me. Uh, she ran the four hurdles in college because she didn't want to train for the mile. Uh, two years ago, she ran 205, and she won the uh, open division of the fifth that mile at 442. Uh, she's a full-time nurse anesthetist student. Uh, she'll have her doctorate in uh, May, I think. Uh, huh? She's. How old is she? Twenty-four. Oh God. She just turned thirty. She's the older sister. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. What we got? Two twenty-one for the winner. All right. Hey, that's one heat down. Two to go. What was your time? Twenty-two. Oh, you're gonna make it, I think. Uh, we'll see.